Hello, welcome to my channel. My channel is all about soap making and other handmade products. You can find videos on bar and liquid soaps, wax tablets and many other products. Please remember to like and subscribe to my channel for more videos and press the bell button so you don't miss out on any updates. Useful links and details are also provided in the description below. In this video, I will be making 100% shea butter soap. I will also be making two batches, one using unrefined shea butter and the other one using refined shea butter. This is because I have accidentally ordered a batch of unrefined shea butter and refined shea butter together. I think this was a good opportunity to do a comparison video of the two butters. So before the making process, let's talk about the difference between the two. Shea butter comes from the nut of the shea fruit and it contains a good quantity of unsaponifiable fats with natural vitamins and anti-inflammatory properties which make it a good ingredient in many skin products. The main difference between unrefined and refined shea butter is the processing method. Unrefined shea butter will be a creamy or light yellow colour with a natural nutty scent. It is processed using handcrafted methods and have a shelf life of 24 months. With refined shea butter, you can see that it is white in appearance and it is odourless, where the natural scent and colour is removed by the refining process using high temperatures and hexane. Although they still make a good moisturiser, it appears that the refining process loses the main nutrients due to the high heat used in the refining process. The refining process gives it its smooth, stable white colour. That is why many commercial products uses refined shea butter due to the stability, while many organic products uses unrefined shea butter for its earthy feel that it adds to the product. In terms of soap making, the line needed for both is the same, and here I have the melted unrefined shea butter on the left, and the refined shea butter on the right. You can already tell the difference between the two butters that the unrefined has a darker yellow colour and the refined is comparatively colourless. I have the same amount of lye and the same amount of fragrance for both batches. Pouring the lye solution in carefully to avoid splashing, and you can see I totally forgot about gloves at that time, don't be like me. Because this is 100% shea butter, it can trace pretty quickly to the point that it looks like it was seasoned in a moment. Just quickly use a stick blender to blend everything well. Quickly add the fragrance or essential oil just before it is too late. I am using lavender essential oil this time. Now quickly pour it on the one side of the mold. Repeat the same steps for refined shea butter. You can see that the refined shea butter produces a darker colour at trace. After unmolding, it was hard to tell which soap belongs to which batch, where you can see the bottom two is the refined shea butter and the top is the unrefined. However, once the soap has cured for four weeks, you can tell the refined shea butter produces a much whiter soap, whilst the unrefined retained a yellowish colour. In terms of scent, I think the essential oil was able to cover the nutty scent of the unrefined shea butter. In conclusion for soap making, the two traces are similar in soap recipes. If you want to have a whiter soap in the end, it would be better to choose refined shea butter. But if you want all the skin benefits or to create a rustic look, unrefined shea butter would be the better choice. Thank you so much for watching. Please give me a thumbs up if you liked the video and subscribe to the channel.